Hey fellow reefers, welcome back to the channel. My name's Lee. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more content or just be updated on uh, silly information products like this um, just to help you along the way. Um, currently I've got this uh, reactor. Um, it's a uh, TMC one. It's filthy in the bottom and you can't gain access to this part. The bottom bit doesn't come off. It's filthy as anything and there's no magnet or anything in there. It's just the base. I just want it to be cleaner so it's um, it, it can be ventilated. I've just put some coke in here um, and that will clean off this. Um, you'll see I'll show you at the end. Um, we are using the reactor because we are running some media through there. Anyone that's not using media, obviously, if you need to use it for any reasons, um, just uh, do your research and um, check what you need to use. Now, I've used uh, fluval um, carbon before, and now I'm using this as well. Um, it's a great product, um, and by NIOS, everyone knows about these. It's a bit more expensive, but it's high quality. Um, the pellets are bigger than the fluval ones. Um, and um, I would say after you've rinsed it um, from with using RO water, um, it's like for like for the um, dust particles that come off it. So I'm not sure, but these are bigger size pellets. Um, and I just think they will just um, not wear down as quickly in the reactor because you've got water flowing over them. So what I do is I'm using activated carbon and I change this out every two or three weeks. Uh, maximum of two weeks probably. One sponge goes at the bottom of the reactor. Um, I clean these out as well, I wash these, these are filthy. Um, one goes in the middle and one goes at the top. And then I will use something else like, for instance, silicate remover. Uh, again, I've rinsed these out um, in some RO water before putting them in. Or I can use some Roafoss on top, but don't mix the two in the same part. It's just, they'll tumble differently and maybe grind each other down. Um, obviously this will remove silicates, so it's kind of helps diatoms I believe and the active carbon you can use it in a bag as well um, but this um, is a better method in a reactor and um, active carbon obviously will just remove any impurities from the water make it clearer um, like a UV would um, and it will also um, remove any toxins from the water that you have like uh, pallies or any um, large uh, kind of soft corals, uh, maybe you have um, some finger leather corals or things like that where they shed. Uh, this will just help keep the water cleaner and just remove any of those toxins from the water, which is better all round um, for clarity. So that's why I use carbon. This is why I'm using silicates because I've um, used Roafoss, which is help with um, the phosphate levels, um, but I'm still having some um, algae or some diatom issues. Um, but um, it, this seems to have helped. Um, I ran it for around 10 days, took it out, um, let the system cool down for a bit, and I'm just gonna try it again just to make sure everything is um, tip top. So I'll just turn the light off here. Um, it is really blue, so apologies, but we've got some darker edges in here, um, and it's kind of, I don't know if you can see, there's some little bit of algae. It's not green hair, and it's not, um, anything uh, like um, at one point I thought I had cyano a long time back that seems to have all cleared it's like a diatom or brown dusking of algae um, you can kind of see it around the zoas here um, but in all fairness um, it's pretty doing well uh, on this front at the moment um, and I'm quite happy with it guys um, if you want to see more videos um, this is the TMC 100 reactor just uh, clips onto the side there. It's got a little pump underneath. I'll just show you So it's really easy. It's got a pump underneath and um, It just filters through comes out the top. It doesn't make much noise um, You can adjust this on um, anywhere really um, And it's a great little product um, So yeah, if you want to see more videos, please like and subscribe and see you on the next one